Healthy Living with Intermountain Healthcare. Santa is making a lot of extra special deliveries this year with the help of a few elves in Riverton's Hospital's Labor and Delivery. So excited about this fun topic we get to talk to you guys about right now. I am joined by Holly Nelson, who is Communications Specialist over at Intermountain. And also, we have this amazing Eagle Scout to be, Jackson Bond. So first, let's talk, Holly, about what happens in December in the Labor and Delivery Unit. Well, typically we have a lot of babies born at Riverton Hospital in December, usually about 200. And so we like to prepare um, for those babies by having special uh, Christmas stocking to wrap the babies up in instead of just a usual blanket so we can hand it to the moms. And they're so cute and it's so festive and it's a, it's a wonderful memento. Well, and Jackson, tell everybody what you were able to do this year and how you got involved. Um, this year I was able to so stockings for all the babies that are born in December and um, I got this idea my my friend did it last year and I thought that it'd be pretty cool to do it for my project my sister was actually born in December and so she has one as well so this was a special thing to your family yeah. that you knew about hold I want you to hold up one of these stockings they did you actually sew some of these? Yes, I did. How many stockings did you guys make this we year? We made about 135. And who helped you do this? Were you just really busy sewing away this whole month? Um, no, we had a lot of help from uh, the woman in my neighborhood. They helped sew it and uh, my mom helped sew a few and I did a few as well. Jackson. You are 15 years old. Yeah. Did you know how to sew before this? Oh, and we just saw a picture there of a toddler trying to fit into this. And Holly, I love that you've said that you kind of get pictures like that over at the hospital. Oh, the families um, come back and tell us we had one last year where they had a baby born, have had a baby born in December twice. So they said, yes, our older child gets the stocking out, tries to fit in at each Christmas. It's getting harder and harder as they get older. So but what a wonderful gift. I mean, it seriously is. I want Santa to bring me a baby in my stocking this year. That would be an amazing way to do it. So Jackson, tell us, did you know how to sew before this project? I did not. I learned how to sew. My mom kind of helped me learn how to sew and it was a good experience. Tell us more about the experience. Have you actually delivered these to the hospital yet? I mean, it's December 3rd. Have any babies used them that you know of? Uh, yeah, I think that um, the babies that have been born uh, within like December, the past three days have gotten them, but we delivered them about a month ago. And how cool was that experience? How cool is it to know that babies are gonna be coming home in something you've created? It's, it's cool because I know like that I did a part in um, helping like someone like remember their birthday. So yeah. That's really neat, Jackson. Holly, I wanna know why is this important to Intermountain Healthcare to be able to provide these to the families with new babies? I think mostly it's just a nice thing to do. It's something the families will always remember. And, and yeah, we've already had babies born this weekend, so there's several that have already gone out. So Jackson, good work. Such a fun thing you guys do. Excited to see more pictures all of December of these darling babies going home. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, thank you. Well, keep it right here to learn how you can save thousands of dollars on a new home.